The main thing that we come here is to tell you about Jesus Christ. Because you are going to die. You were born to die, and death does not end your life. It is a fact that your life is so important that God Himself stepped down out of heaven in eternity and came down to this miserable planet to suffer and die that you may have eternal life. God Himself looked upon you as His creation and said, I have to do something for you because you cannot do to undo what you've done against God and that's rebelled against God. The fact is that our grandparents, Adam and Eve, sinned against God. And through Adam and Eve, we are born into sin. And the wages of sin is death. The very fact that you will be put into a coffin is the very fact that you are a sinner. And because of your sins, and no way for you to be washed of your sins, God stepped down as the Lamb of God, which take away the sin of the world. If you can wash your sins away, there would be no Jesus. There would be no Bible. If we could do something ourselves to prepare ourselves into a place called heaven. But we can't because Jesus came and suffered and died according to the scriptures. And he was buried and arose again the third day according to the scriptures. Because as far as going to heaven with works, the Bible says not of works, at least any man should boast. But by the precious blood of Jesus Christ, a lamb without the spot. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son. That is the love of God. The love of God that he tells people that are saved. As I am. Go ye all the world and preach the gospel. Because you're not going to find this gospel, the word of God, in most of your churches today. Look around you at Daytona Beach with all the churches. Look at the congregation that you go to and say, does anybody in my church preach the gospel and why not? Because your church is a penny wage church of Satan. The Bible says, go eat all the world and preach the gospel. It doesn't say, well, just live it so people can see. The fact is that people are dying. Today may be their last day. And they and you need to hear that Jesus said, and Jesus alone. Our can't save you because our is not a God. Mary can't save you because Mary's not a God. But the Lord Jesus Christ, who is God, and God is in Jesus Christ, is our Savior. Religion is man-made, but Jesus Christ is God-approved. And if you die without Jesus Christ, you will burn in hell. A man goes into hell because he won't receive Christ as his Savior. All the religions are based upon Satan. But Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Religion gets you away from God. I've got my religion. Well, religion is full in hell. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth. And the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. That's Jesus speaking. You say, well, I've got my religion, I've got what I believe, 
be found wanting. You'll be found wanting to go to heaven, which you can't go, because it's only upon Jesus Christ. There is nothing we can do. Absolutely nothing we can do, because that's why there's a Jesus. Jesus suffered and died for what we cannot do. And the reality is, can you pay for your own sin? Can you say, God, I reject Jesus Christ. I reject that preacher. I reject the Bible. I'm going to pay it my own way. I advise you not to. Because if you're going to pay for your own sin, you're going to pay for our sin burning in hell. That is God's means of you dealing with your own sin. And it need not be so. Because Jesus Christ has already met the payment. Jesus Christ has already paid the price that's acceptable unto God. You've just got to receive it. People who are in hell today, they are in hell because they rejected the finished work of Jesus Christ and thought that something is more important. Came up with their own beliefs. Came up with their own ways outside of God. And I'm telling you right now, there is one place on this earth where 100% of the people in that place are Bible believers today. And that's a cemetery, a graveyard. They are all Bible believers. Many have gone the way of destruction. Few of them have gone the way that's righteousness. And the Bible records for us in the book of Gospel of Luke of a man that is in hell wants us to come to you and tell you not to go. I'm here to tell you that Uncle Fred does not want you to party in hell with him because there is no party. Your Uncle Fred wants you to receive Christ and hear the gospel according to the gospel of Luke that Jesus will save you whereas it didn't save him. You think you're going to party in hell? The people in hell don't want you to come. If anybody could come up, which they can't, according to the Gospel of Luke, they would come up and say, don't come here. And when you wake up, and you enter into hell for all eternity, you have done it on your own merit. You have done it by your own free will choice. And it need not to be so. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son that whosoever believes in Him should not perish. Salvation is wrought of God. You can be saved. God is long suffer. He is not willing that any should perish. Many of you vendors don't want us here, but God does. God is long suffering that He has sent us here that you may hear the gospel, that we may proclaim that there is a way of salvation. There is hope behind the grave. And that hope rests upon the Lord Jesus Christ. For with the heart, man believes unto righteousness. With the mouth, confession is made unto salvation. There is no salvation outside of Jesus Christ. Religion is a lie of Satan. He does not want to be tortured alone. He 
wants the worship of man. <clears throat> Satan had a nerve to tell Jesus Christ, if you, I'll give you all this if you fall down and worship me. Satan wants God's worship. The only way Satan can take God's worship to eternity is take you off into a devil's hell. You'll never thank God. You'll never praise God in hell. Never. Whereas people who are saved by God, when we are absent from the body and present with the Lord, there is always eternal gratification, eternal glory to the one that died for us, the Lord Jesus Christ.
One day you'll give thanks to God for this loudmouth preacher. And at that point, it'll be too late. You see, once you die, contrary to video games, once you die, you do not come back. There is no physical life after death. There is no reincarnation. Unless you want to come back as a cockroach, and that don't happen. When you die without Jesus Christ, you die and you go to a place called hell. When you die in Jesus Christ, you are absent from the body and present with the Lord. That's it. They all think they're going to heaven and they don't even love the Lord Jesus Christ. Why would they want to be there? When? When? When are you going to die? Tell me. You don't know. But God does. And the love of God before you have taken that last breath, He says, go preach the gospel. You may not survive today. Your eyes may be open for the last time today. You may not even make this afternoon. You may get into your Jeep. And you may fall out of your cheek and wake up in hell and say, what on earth happened? You may cross the Florida road and get hit by a Florida driver and say, what happened? You may be playing that video game and death comes. And you look for that reset button and it's not there. Death is coming. You know death is coming. Death is more sure than taxes. And because you're going to die, because you're going to face judgment, the Bible says, It's appointed unto man once to die, but after this, the judgment. God says, go in all the word and preach that gospel. The gospel is that Jesus Christ died for the sin, according to the scripture. And he was buried. And he arose again the third day, according to the scripture. That we might have life and have life more abundantly. The fact this by God sending Jesus Christ shows that we have a need. It shows that we are on the mind and heart of God. He loved us and He gave us His Son. He has told us by Jesus that we can't do nothing. It is always on the finished miracle of what God has done for us. The love of God is He sent Jesus. And that He has sent His people, the very few, to go tell you what God expects for you and by your own choice. See, it's an expectation of God about salvation of Jesus Christ, and yet, it is your own free choice. To think that God has already prearranged you to go to heaven is a heresy out of hell. To say that God has already determined you to go into hell without anything you can do is a message out of hell. Because the Bible says God's not willing that any should perish. Whosoever calls upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. That's anybody. Look at yourself today because you may not see yourself tomorrow. 
The wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Jesus Christ our Lord. You are not getting better, you're getting worse. On contrary to evolution. You are a creation of God the Father. And in the creation of God the Father, you sinned against that Creator, God. In the loveliness of God that He has to His creation, He has made a remedy for you to be saved. In the holiness of God, He has given you the opportunity to receive or reject. Now, most of you are not Bible readers. I'm a Bible believer. I am a Bible believer based upon the factors of the street ministry. Because the Bible tells me that most will go the broad way. Many will go the broad way that leads to destruction, and few that will go the straight gate. And yet the Bible tells people like us who do what God does, you're going to have people that are going to reject you, you're going to have people that are going to scorn you, we're going to have people that are going to reject God. You make the Bible more real in my life by your disobeying the Bible. And you don't even know that the satisfaction that you give me as Bible rejectors to my belief in the Bible. That sounds contrary. And yet you carry the fruit of God in your heart, and you don't thank God for that fruit. You thank George Washington, Abraham Lincoln, Benjamin Franklin, for your own ways of doing your own thing. We are a nation that has rejected God. We are a nation that has rejected the Bible. And we stand here with the Bible to tell you how to come back to God. You are outside the presence of God when you reject Jesus Christ. Do not expect to go to heaven without Jesus Christ. Do not think your Pope is going to get you going because he is a sinner. Don't expect Allah to give you those virgins because he is a devil out of hell. The only thing you are to expect from God is eternal life through Jesus Christ or hell by rejecting Jesus Christ. That is your only two means when you die. And look at the limitations of religion. Whereas God says, come on to me all. Whosoever. That's the God of the Bible. 